Hi everyone, Scott Smith in sunny Southern California here in November. Check out this sweet machine. I think this is the first one I've shot. Talking brand new BMW X4 M40i. Man, this thing is awesome, guys. Such a fun car. Um, and as we know, it's the smaller, little, mean little brother of the X6. But definitely having M in the title on this model definitely takes it to the new level. Um, as we know in the past, we've had the X4 come out as a 3.5i. But now that they put that letter in the name, they took it to a whole new <laughs> fun factor. I can definitely tell you that. Now, right off the bat, um, this car's been upgraded with the 20 inch wheels. These are style 680M. Um, now also the curb weight on this is 4235. It's 184 inches long, just under 75 inches wide, and just around 64 inches tall. But what a very unique vehicle. It's called a sports activity coupe. BMW's philosophy when the X6 came out, and then what a great idea to come out with this X4, is that from the door handles up, it's a coupe design. And from the door handles down, it's a sports activity vehicle by BMW. So it does have a very intelligent all-wheel drive, X-Drive system in here that just enhances the handling. Obviously this vehicle has a little higher center of gravity than we would see like in an M3 and an M4, but they definitely have put some great features in this car to be able to give you a higher seating position, better visibility, but still give you all that fun factor that BMW is known for. So let's go up front here. As we can see from those beautiful headlights, we do have the LED full adaptives on this car. Um, and you've got your signature M package design on here, M Sport, very aggressive front end. And you can see there just underneath the kidney grills in the center, we do have the surround view camera, very nice features. In the past, we used to have two cameras on each side of the bumper in the front for looking down the street either way if you're coming out of like an alleyway. Now they've upgraded to one camera, more of a fisheye view also does alert you on the screen if there is movement on each side so very cool feature if you definitely living downtown little alleyways places where you've got a lot of blind spots when you're pulling out of even driveways and stuff there's a button that's right next to your leg turn it on and that camera turns on and shows you a lot of features left to right obviously forward too so let's move around to the side i want to give you a closer look at these wheels telling you BMW has so many sweet looking wheels they've done such a great job you can see that little stamp on there right above the BMW cap you've got the M design there so the M department designed this wheel for this car the motorsport division so but man they've got so many good looking wheels and you can see here we got Michelin's on here they're non run flat tires we got 245 40 series up front we got 275s in the back 30 series the mobility kit is in the trunk. You'll see that in a minute. Let's check out this rear. And so these wheels, if I remember correctly, we've got, I think, 10 inch in the back. That's right. And we got 20 by eight and a half up front, 20 by 10 in the back. So you got a lot of stickiness here. And we'll take a look here in just a second. Let's go ahead and have some fun with rev time with Allison. Oh, that's awesome. I never get tired of it. I hope you guys don't either. So, and you can see we got the black tailpipes on here. You got that gray design, kind of a rear diffuser type of look. So, very cool. And that center piece in the same paint. This is your Glacier Silver. So, let's go ahead. We're going to move to the front. But first, let's go ahead and talk to Allison. She's getting the hood open for us. Hey, Allison. Hey, guys. Awesome car, huh? Oh, I love it. <laughs> cool, let's go check out the power plant. All right. Oh, one we do. Pull? Oh, no, we got to reach underneath on this. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, I'm thinking everything's a double pull now. Let's see. It's in there somewhere, isn't it? <laughs> Where's that thing hiding? So go ahead and lift up on it a little bit. All right, guys, we're having fun here. Let's get that hood going. There oh, we go. There all right. All right. We think everything's a double pull now, don't we? All right. Cool. So let's talk about this power plant. We got the N55 engine in here. It's a three liter, 355 horsepower at 5,800 RPMs, and you got 343 in torque. And I think that's right around 1350. What do you think, Allison? Sounds good? Sounds fast enough. 
<laughs> awesome, huh? That exhaust is beautiful on this. So guys, and we do have a zero to 60 at 4.7 through BMW. So I'll go ahead and close this up. Allison, let's head over to the sticker. Right, so we'll go over what's on this car. I think we've got a pretty loaded model here, don't we? Yeah, it's looking pretty good. Okay. So that 2017 BMW X4 M40i, Glacier Silver Metallic with the black leather interior, has a driver's assistance package, lighting package, technology package, and a whole lot of other stuff. Yeah, a lot of standard equipment, but there you go. You can see the retail price in um, the suggested retail price there for the United States, guys. And you can also see the miles and your final assembly. All right, cool. Let's go ahead and see how Allison fits in the back seat. She's 5'8 without the heels. She was comfortable up front. So let's see here. Yeah, it looks like you got great space yeah. back there. So there is seat belts for five. As we know, back in the day, the X6 actually came with two plus two, and then eventually it came with an option for that fifth seat belt. But right off the bat, the X4 does have a total of five seat belts. The only thing is you just gotta watch your head when you're getting in, because that sloping roof line can make it a little tight. All right, Allison, let's go ahead and show them the trunk. Which trunk, mine or <laughs> Let's do both. <laughs> All right, guys, we got 17.7 cubic feet back here. You drop those seats, it goes up over 49 cubic feet of storage. So definitely you do have some, some utility part of this car. Um, so it's very nice in case you're cleaning out the garage, you got skis, you got equipment. Ladies, if you have to buy some, it doesn't fit, drop the seats definitely they'll make it fit also let's see here underneath you got a little bit of storage you got your tie downs also there's that mobility kit we talked about all right also you can see over here we do have the front license plate mount per the uh, owner we'll have that drilled into the bumper if they want also you do have the power source you can see right there multiple different tie downs and hooks places to store stuff also, both the security shades obviously come out too, so that way you can maximize your storage. Okay, go ahead and we'll close that up. Let's get Allison back in the front seat. Show you some of the signature pieces they put over here also. As you can see right inside the door seal, they did put the MX4 M40i, very nice touch. Also got your M dead pedal there with the signature M symbol on it. Also, the car does have your Harman Kardon sound system. Unlock and locks are over here on the doors, which you've had for a few years now. And then obviously all your controls here for the windows, the mirrors. Also, the rear hatch can be opened and closed from here for the driver, so it's nice. Someone's got full hands, open it up for them, close it. Also, you've got some storage there for sunglasses. And also your signature M steering wheel with the Napa leather. Definitely nice, because Allison, you do have that on your car, don't I you? I do, and it yeah. makes a big difference. I've driven a, a bunch of different cars, but nothing feels better than something like this. Cool, okay, I'll go jump in on the other side. Yeah, guys, Glacier Silver, what a sweet color on this, especially with those wheels with that highlighted face, you know, surface on there really sticks out. BMW's metallic paints are phenomenal. Also, you can see the X4 M40i, really nice touch there. Now also this car does have what they call performance control. One thing I wanted to mention really quick, so it'll actually manage uh, engine output or even will use braking power to help this car in cornering, acceleration, all types of traction situations. Basically what it'll do is it'll even brake inside wheels to have more engine power go to the outside wheels in cornering. So it's called performance control if you want to look it up. But I think a really cool option on a car like this that sits a little higher off the ground with the X drive and with that performance control, obviously you can relate it to safety, but also performance handling and canyons and things like that. So it's just a really neat feature that they've taken this car to that next level having M in the name. So also one thing to mention the ferret gray coloring accents here that you see right here right there for you. Also the ribs inside the kidney grill and also the mirror covers. So this is something that first appeared on the M235. It's kind of their signature color for that M series or that line of 
M cars that aren't a full M car, but definitely are at that higher level with more standard performance items and quicker and more horsepower. So let's go ahead and go inside. Now, Allison, you've been driving the X6 M Sport now for a yes. while. Yeah, what do you think of the X4? Well, I love the way that sounds. To me, that's that's everything, but it handles amazing, and it's not too much smaller than what I drive, so it'd work for me for sure. Cool. Let's do another rev time real quick. Right. <laughs> oh, man, that sounds awesome. Love that exhaust they've done on this. Oh, that makes me so happy. <laughs> All right, and what's nice too, it is a 17 model, so it has been upgraded with the 5.0 software and quicker hardware too. Really nice. So very quick, easy to deal with, even more user-friendly than the past, which has just gotten better and better over the years. Also, you've got a center control button here for your major safety systems. As you can see, frontal collision, pedestrian, lane departure warning, also, your active blind spot detection. So you've got all that and you can do some modifications. And then how's the heads up display? Can we pick that off up there? I don't know if it's gonna flicker here. Yeah, I'm seeing it. Oh, you do? Zero. Okay, cool. Yeah. And there's the white box up there too, isn't it? Does. Uh, yeah, for the speed and stuff. Power. Yeah, so what's nice, guys, is we do have up here in the mirror, there is a camera up here, so active driving assistant. Now this car, what it'll do is it'll actually warn you if you're not paying attention, going too fast towards an option, it will actually start to prime and put on the brakes for you for a very minimal amount of time. Obviously, you have to be involved, but it will warn and it will start the brakes for you for a very, very, very short period of time. That's the active driving assistant. Now, this car is also has the ACC stop and go, the active cruise control, and that's where you can activate it, set the distance behind a vehicle, let's say on the freeway, and then if that vehicle in front of you comes to a complete stop, this vehicle will also do the same and then start up as traffic moves on. So this car does have all the cool features in it from the factory, from what I can tell, other than um, you know some of the night vision options and stuff like that, which is very rare. Um, but you can see there's the dash with the big gauges. Also, you can see the bottom right there, you got the M or the X4 M. 40i, which is really cool, kind of a signature thing they also did on the M235, now your M240s. So perfect. All right. Do oh, I get to take it? <laughs> yeah, but hold on. It? yeah, one second here. Let's show them this. So you got the wireless charging, and it comes. This one was ordered with the wireless charging. So I know the Apple phones have cases now, I think, for them to do this, and then um, the Androids have had it for a couple years. So, and then we also have a Wi-Fi hotspot, which is cool available. So I think we got three gigs, and we have um, or three months included, and then you can start a contract. I think is currently with AT and T. So, and then also what I thought was kind of cool is they did put the M symbol here on the transmission selector. Cool. All right. So you get to go have fun in this and leave Yay. me here and... <laughs> okay. Not <coming> back. Okay. <laughs> I guess I'll be walking back to work. All right, guys. Yeah, we'll get a little bit of acceleration here. But yeah, if you guys are looking for a car, you know, please send me an email. Love to have a chance to earn your business if you live in the state of California. Man, I love these cars. They've really done a great job with this line of vehicles. <laughs> Thanks for watching.